Inflammation literally means to set on fire, and acute is when something has a sudden and relatively severe course. There are many different causes of acute inflammation. They include trauma, chemicals, infection, necrosis, and immunological reactions. This is an example of a chemical causing acute inflammation and this is a corrosive causing acute esophagitis that resulted in stricture forming. This is an example of acute inflammation caused by bacteria and this is bacterial acute meningitis. This is the gross appearance of herpes esophagitis and this is an example of a virus causing acute inflammation. A good example of necrosis causing acute inflammation is following an acute myocardial infarct. And you can see polymorphs infiltrating the dead heart muscle. Acute glomerulonephritis is an example of immune-mediated acute inflammation. Radiation may cause acute inflammation and the most common cause of this is of course sunburn. The Latin words calor, rubor, dolor and tumor describe the features of acute inflammation and they are heat, redness, pain and swelling and also loss of function. This lower leg is inflamed as a result of cellulitis. Cellulitis is inflammation of the soft tissues. On examination this lower leg shows all the features of acute inflammation including heat, redness, swelling painfulness and also although there may not be complete loss of function, function will be impaired. I am giving a very simple overview of acute inflammation but the process of acute inflammation is actually quite complex with the inflammation being initiated and controlled by interaction of cellular receptors, chemical mediators, complement and clotting systems. The changes that occur in, in the tissues in acute inflammation are dilatation of arterioles, venules and capillaries. They have increased permeability. Fluid exudes with plasma proteins into the surrounding tissues. This allows migration of white cells, predominantly neutrophil polymorphs, into the affected area. This is the microscopic appearance of an inflammatory exudate. You can see the neutrophil polymorphs spilling out into the adjacent tissues through the capillary wall. So what is the purpose of this rather uncomfortable and unpleasant reaction? Acute inflammation is a localised protective response that destroys, dilutes or walls off the injurious stimulus. Following acute inflammation there may be a number of outcomes. The most frequent one is resolution, where the affected area returns to normal. More serious outcomes include abscess formation, fibrosis, scarring or progression to chronic inflammation. This piece of brain shows an abscess that has formed. The acute myocardial infarct in this case resulted in replacement of the dead muscle fibres by fibrous tissue or scarring. Acute pyelonephritis may progress to chronic pyelonephritis and this is an example of acute inflammation in the kidney progressing to chronic inflammation. Yeah.